mensuration area of a general quadrilateral a rhombus and a trapezium finding the area of a general quadrilateral this is a quadrilateral abcd by drawing a diagonal divide the quadrilateral into two triangles let's draw the diagonal ac so we get two triangles triangle adc and triangle abc draw the perpendiculars de and bf Let's generalize the formula to find the area of a quadrilateral by using the area of the triangles. Area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of the triangle ADC plus area of the triangle ABC, which is equal to half into AC into DE plus half into AC into BF. which is equal to half into ac into de plus bf into brackets which is equal to half into diagonal into sum of the perpendicular distances from the other vertices to the diagonal find the area of a field in the form of a quadrilateral that has the following dimensions pr is equal to 6.5 meters sx is equal to 3.5 meters and qy is equal to 4.5 meters therefore area of the field is equal to half into diagonal into sum of the perpendicular distances from the other vertices to the diagonal which is equal to half into 6.5 into 3.5 plus 4.5 into brackets On solving this we get 3.25 into 8.0 which is equal to 26 square meters therefore the area of the field is 26 square meters finding the area of a rhombus what is a rhombus a quadrilateral whose all four sides are equal a rhombus does not necessarily have its corner angles as right angles Every square is a rhombus but every rhombus is not a square. Look at this rhombus. All four sides are equal so let's mark those. Let's label each as A. Now let's draw the diagonals. You know that the diagonals intersect each other at right angles so let's draw the angles. You also know that the diagonals bisect each other. That means these two segments are equal, so let's mark those. Let's label each as B. Even these two segments are equal, so let's mark those. Let's label each as C. Now, let's see how we can figure out the area of the rhombus. Basically, It's clear that the area of the rhombus is the sum of the area of these four right-angled triangles. Each right-angled triangle has the area half into B into C. So area of the blue triangle is equal to half into B into C. Area of the yellow triangle is equal to half into B into C. Area of the green triangle is equal to half into B into C and area of the orange triangle is equal to half into B into C. Therefore, area of the rhombus is equal to 4 into half into B into C. Therefore, we get area of the rhombus is equal to 2 into B into C. So We have a formula. The area of a rhombus is twice the product of the half length of the diagonals. Look at this rhombus. All four sides are equal, so let's mark those. Let's label each as A. Now, let's draw the diagonals. 
You know that the diagonals intersect each other at right angles. So let's draw the angles. Therefore, area of the rhombus is equal to area of triangle ABC plus area of triangle ADC, which is equal to half into AC into O, half into AC into OD, which is equal to half into AC into OB plus OD into brackets, which is equal to half into AC into BD, which is equal to half into product of diagonals. Let's take a look at a word problem. The diagonals of the rhombus are 30 centimeters and 20 centimeters. What is its area? Area of a rhombus is equal to half into product of the diagonals which is equal to half into 30 into 20 which is equal to 300 centimeters square therefore the area of the rhombus is 300 centimeters square let's take a look at another one the diagonals of the rhombus are 12 cm and 16 cm. What is its area? Area of the rhombus is equal to half into product of the diagonals, which is equal to half into 12 into 16. Therefore, area of the rhombus is equal to 96 cm square. Let's take a look at another one. The area of a rhombus is 120 square centimeters. If one diagonal is 12 centimeters, find the other one. Let's assume that the missing diagonal is D. Now, area of the rhombus is equal to half into product of the diagonal. Therefore, 120 is equal to half into 12 into D. Therefore, 120 is equal to 6 into D. Therefore, D is equal to 120 upon 6, which is equal to 20. Therefore, the other diagonal is 20 centimeters. Let's take a look at another one. Find the area of the rhombus whose side is 20 meters and whose altitude is 15 meters. Here we are given side is 20 meters and altitude is 15 meters. But area of the rhombus is half of the product of diagonals. We don't know the measures of diagonals. So how can we do this? Do you know any property about the rhombus? The rhombus is also a parallelogram. So, finding the area of the rhombus is same as finding the area of a parallelogram. Remember, area of the parallelogram is equal to base into height. Therefore, area of the rhombus is equal to base into height, which is equal to 20 meters into 15 meters, which is equal to 300 meters square. Therefore, area of the rhombus is 300 meters square. Finding the area of a trapezium. What is a trapezium? A quadrilateral where one pair of opposite sides is parallel to each other. Let's draw a trapezium and try to find out the method to calculate its area. This is a trapezium. This is the pair of opposite sides that are parallel to each other. Now, we can see that this side is shorter. So, let's draw perpendicular lines from both these points to the opposite parallel side. Now, we have divided the trapezium into three parts. There are two right-angled triangles. The central part forms a rectangle. If the length of this side is A, then the length of this part of this side is also A. Let the distance between the parallel lines be D. So, these two sides of the rectangle are D. Let this part of the side be C and this part be B. So, 
what is the area of the trapezium? Half into B into D plus A into D plus half into CD. Here, D is common, so we can rewrite it as area of the trapezium is equal to D into brackets half B plus A plus half C. Rewrite that again by taking half common we get half into D into brackets B plus 2A plus C. This can be written as B plus A plus C plus A. Thus, the area of the trapezium is equal to half D into brackets B plus A plus C plus A. What is B plus A plus C? This is side of the trapezium. What is A? This is side of the trapezium. So, we can write the formula for area as half into D into sum of the length of the parallel sides. We know that D is the distance between the parallel sides of the trapezium. Therefore, area of the trapezium is equal to half into sum of the length of the parallel sides into distance between them. The parallel sides of a trapezium are 30 cm and 20 cm. The distance between them is 15 cm. Find the area of the trapezium. The area of a trapezium is half into sum of the length of the parallel sides into distance between them, which is equal to half into 30 plus 20 into 15, which is equal to half into 50 into 15, which is equal to 375 square centimeters. Therefore, the area of this trapezium is 375 square centimeters. The area of the trapezium is 68 centimeters square and the length of one of the parallel sides is 10 centimeters and its height is 4 centimeters. Find the length of the other parallel side. Assume the length of the other parallel side as x centimeters. The area of a trapezium is equal to half into sum of the length of the parallel sides into distance between them. Therefore, 68 is equal to 1 upon 2 into 10 plus x into brackets into 4. Therefore, 68 is equal to 10 plus x into brackets into 2. Therefore, 68 is equal to 20 plus 2x. Therefore, 68 minus 20 is equal to 2x. Therefore, 48 is equal to 2x. Therefore, x is equal to 48 upon 2, which is equal to 24 centimeters. Thus, the length of the other parallel side is 24 centimeters. Did you understand how to find the area of a general quadrilateral, a rhombus, and a trapezium? Yes? Very good! If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.